Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. As you guys can see here, we've already shuffled the deck and pulled out the cards for time purposes. So let's jump right into your reading Pisces. Now for the beginning of the month of September 2018, you have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is coming out in your finance sector. Um, and what this could represent for some of you Pisces out there, it could be that you're feeling a bit emotional. You're feeling a bit, um, overwhelmed in regards to your business and finances. For some of you guys, it could be that you're a little bit tight on money for others of you. It could just represent that you are over exhausted. Uh, you're taking on a lot of responsibilities at work. Um, so it could be a bit challenging and again, like I said, a bit overwhelming. Nonetheless, you are starting the month with your card. Uh, you know, the King of Cups is a water sign. Um, so this is definitely your energy Pisces. So you're going to, if you've been currently dealing with or struggling with, uh, finances or, um, being overburdened, um, being just having a lot of things to take care of and almost feeling a bit frustrated uh, for not having enough time or not having enough um, you know, finances to cover expenses, etc. cetera, uh, know and understand that things will quickly start to progress in a positive way. Um, know and understand that you are coming off, uh, a grounded in yourself because you are coming, you are showing up in your own reading. Nonetheless, there is definitely need for grounding. So I would highly encourage you guys meditation, um, or guided meditation as well to allow you to surrender to the process and not resist it. Now, your communication sector, you have the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is being very analytical for the month of September, being very much in your head or analyzing how people are communicating with you, almost feeling like um, you have to decipher what people are, what they truly mean versus what they're saying. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you're going to be highly communicate, uh, highly communicating with someone of an air sign. So it could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra. And again, with the queen of swords, this is mature type of energy, but this is also to do with, again, being very straightforward and being very honest for the month of September. So try the best you can to be extremely honest. Um, do not bite your tongue, be completely honest and blunt even. Um, because there is a need for that. Now, for those of you guys that uh, may put yourself or may find yourself in a bit of a pickle, try the best you can to be as honest as possible as um, the person you will be communicating with or whatever type of situation happens in regards to some type of misunderstanding um, is going to be very analytical or very judgmental. Um, so again, be careful with that. Now, you do have here the Four of Swords, and this is um, coming up as a challenge. So the Four of Swords is, again, a highly needed um, grounding. There's highly need for you to ground or meditate. I feel that you guys are a lot in your head for the month of September or have been in the past couple of uh, weeks. Nonetheless, there is a need for you guys to rest. For some of you guys that are not, you know, you've been working a lot and very tirelessly, um, and not really resting or not really having uh, enough sleep. Uh, this is definitely going to catch up to you guys for the month of September. So try the best you can to get as much sleep as you possibly can and keep yourself hydrated uh, make sure not to skip any meals or anything like that, as this could trigger you mentally, uh, where you're not clear headed or where you are very quick to, uh, go into these outbursts. And it has to do for, it has to do with that of, you know, um, the nervous system. So again, try the best you can to, uh, get some well rest, um, and, you know, maintain yourself. Remember, always remember that health is very important without health. We have nothing. So know that, understand that and practice that. Now we do have here the page of pentacles and the page of pentacles is coming up in regards to your relationship or the relationship sector. Uh, the page of pentacles definitely brings a message, a message that you've been waiting for, or you've been wanting to hear from in regards to your partner or in regards to the relationship, uh, page of pentacles definitely speaks, uh, speaks about an offering. So there's going to be an offering being made for you for the month of September. It could be, um, that your partner actually gives you a gift, a physical gift, or it could be that they offer you some type of, um, agreement, something that you've been waiting for. 
Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term or have been a long-term committed relationship, if you guys have been struggling with finances or you've been feeling a bit overwhelmed, um, there is a need for you to speak uh, to your partner, put the, ta- or put the cards on the table and be completely honest and transparent. Do not fear, as an example, if your partner is the type of person to put, you know, whatever it is that they make, they put that on the side. Whatever it is that you make, you put that on the side. You need balance, okay? There, there is a need for balance and there is a need for... Um, there's a need for unionship and there is a need for commonality, like meeting each other halfway. So what I mean by that is if your partner's not really helping you financially, but if you're, you know, if your partner's not really helping you financially, or if this is you, the one that keeps taking, 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 and you're not really helping your partner financially, and you guys are currently going through difficulties, there may be a lot of miscommunication or there may be some difficulties or some, you know, tests that we need to go through for the month of September um, that has to do with, again, balance and it has to do with equality in the relationship. So, uh, you know, if you're the type of Pisces that is always, you know, I need money for this, I need money for that. For the month of September, you're going to quickly find out that your partner is going to start to speak up or is going to start to uh, pretty much complain about you not helping them. Um, If you are the one that is always taking care of the bills or whatnot, um, this may be you that starts to snap and starts to uh, let your partner know like, hey, you need to step up. You need to put your part as I've been doing. Um, But there's definitely a need for that. And again, like I said, um, equality more than anything is what I'm hearing. So take that for what it is. Now, we do have here the we have here, um, the temperance. So the temperance as a spiritual advice, there is currently healing going or happening at the present time for you Pisces. Um, but it also speaks about timing. So there is, there is something in regards to finances that you're very anxious about Pisces or that you're very concerned about, or that you are waiting to hear, am I going to be given uh, a raise? Am I going to be given that, you know, higher ranking position Or am I going to be able to progress and move forward? And the answer to that is yes. But keep in mind that timing has to do with everything at the present time. So what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is if you, you've set your intention and you've put it, you've put action behind it. Now it's time for you to sit back, take a deep breath, relax, try the best you can to focus on the outcome so it can happen quickly, uh, quickly. Um, so it can come to you rather quickly with no blockages, just surrender to the process. If you're currently dealing with difficulties in regards to finances, know and understand that we, everything in life is cycles. You're not going to remain there and you're not going to be stuck in that forever. It's just something that comes with the season. Sometimes we do good. Sometimes we don't do that great. Nonetheless, it has to do with the attitude that you approach these situations to be able to come out and see things um, in the positive aspect rather quickly or be challenged with negative thinking and be incurring blockages uh, that take a little bit longer for you to be able to, again, uh, start to see new progress. So know and understand that timing has everything to do with it. If you're currently waiting to hear back from a position or a raise or expansion, um, it's very important for you to remain focused on what you're trying to do and remain positive. Uh, The rest, leave it up to the universe as it will give. It will bring to you that which you're wanting. Um, But again, learn to be patient. The more uh, anxiousness that we have, the more restlessness that we feel, uh, that speaks deep on that that has to do with fears and doubt. And when you have fears and doubt, you are currently blocking yourself from expansion, from growth, from advancement, um, because you're resisting this change. You're resisting this season. You are resisting um, this movement or lack of movement that's currently happening. Um, So again, like I said, try the best you can to meditate as this will help you ground yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe and we'll see each other soon. Okay, bye.